Grice is an environmentally friendly way to clean things. The CO2 is harvested off of some sort of refining process, made into a solid form where we can use it to clean things. It just disappears on impact and goes back to a gas form. There are a number of benefits from that. One, it's a dry clean. Two, the particles are very soft, uh, so they are non-abrasive on the parts we're trying to clean. We can do some very gentle cleaning. We can get into some tight spaces with very small particles. There are no residues, and so we have a residue-free clean. Also, it's non-conductive, and, and it's non-toxic, so we can make things very clean. Even, even when they're running electrically, we don't have to mask sensors, electronics, things like that. We can clean around those things with success and very quickly. It's kind of the ultimate parts cleaner. We can take it to the part and clean and get a good, solid, fast clean so you can get back to, produc uh, to production right away. All right, so what we have here uh, is our smallest mach uh, machine. It's designed uh, to do very small particles of dry ice. So we take, a, we take a block of dry ice and we put it in the trough here. You can see there that there's a wheel with some blades on it. That blade turns and shaves the dry ice into very small particles, about the size of sugar. And then those particles are then accelerated with compressed air uh, to impinge upon the surface uh, that you're trying to clean. The block goes in there like that. The pusher plate will push the block against the, dry, uh, the, the cutting wheel. And then we're close the lid and ready to, ready to blast. Okay, we'll demonstrate the technology here on this uh, clamshell rubber O-ring mold. Uh, we've put some grease pencil on the mold to simulate off-gassing, mold release agents, that sort of thing. So we're going to blast the dry ice onto the surface. And clean the mold. As you can see, the surface of the mold is free of residue. It's dry. It's not particularly cold. It's just a surface effect only. This particular machine is our iCube MicroClean. It runs on a block of dry ice. It's a tabletop unit designed to do precision type cleaning. As you can see, the nozzles are very small. So they're designed to do easy, quick, intricate, precision type cleaning. We can adjust uh, the air pressure, so we can adjust the aggression. Uh, we can move the air pressure up, down. Also, we can adjust the dry ice feed rate. So if we have smaller nozzles or wider nozzles or higher airflow nozzles, we can adjust the feed rate to accommodate that and get the fastest possible clean. Dry ice is an interesting media to clean things with. It actually works in three ways. Uh, the particles impact the surface, so there is some kinetic energy uh, transfer there. Also, dry ice is very cold. It's about 109 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, about minus 79 Celsius, and it will cool the contaminant faster than the substrate. So the contaminant will shrink and disbond, and then, and then it will flush away with the compressed air. And also the dry ice will expand when it goes from a solid to a gas upon sublimation. It'll actually expand about 800 times. So it's kind of like little explosions on the surface. So you have impact energy, you have uh, thermal shock, and you have gas expansion. And then you have the compressed air flushing the contaminant away. There are a number of benefits with that because you have no secondary waste. You only end with the same amount of waste that you started with. It's just moved from one area to another. This is our Aero 40. It's designed to do much bigger jobs than the IQ MicroClean. This machine actually is designed to run on three millimeter pellets of dry ice. Dry ice is solid CO2. CO2 exists as liquid under pressure. We take that liquid and we basically drop the pressure to ambient pressure where it will flash off as very small crystals of CO2 snow. We then take that snow and compress it uh, and, and put it through a set of dyes in, in order to make these small three millimeter uh, pellets. It's actually extruded, kind of like a pasta maker or something like that. We take those particles then we add them to the hopper, propel them with compressed air, and you have a blast media which cleans, but it's a gentle blast media. It's not abrasive on metals. It can clean without damage. Uh, and we can control uh, how aggressive it is. So we can clean some very gentle things, or we can get pretty aggressive with it. Uh, you can see that the nozzles are much bigger. They're designed to do larger areas. This is our largest nozzle. It's uh, four inches wide or 10 centimeters. But we can do all sorts of different uh, sizes, lengths, angles, different things like that. This machine works a little bit differently than the, than the block shaver that we saw before. We actually will take the particles of dry ice, open the hopper, 
and dump the dry ice in. This particular machine will hold 40 pounds of, of three millimeter pellets. We have machines that will hold 60 pounds and that will hold 80 pounds, so we make different sizes of machines for different applications. We use this in a lot of different industries. Our most prevalent one is plastic and rubber injection molding because we can open the press, clean the tool, and put it right back into production immediately, even while it's hot. It's a great, uh, it's kind of the ultimate parts cleaner. You can take it to the part and get it very clean very quickly. We are in a number of different industries. I mean, you can think of how many parts are made out of plastic or rubber on a, on a car or an airplane. So, so automotive and aerospace are very important to us. But food and beverage is important to us. Anytime there's ink or adhesives for packaging, uh, any type of residues left over from uh, baking or uh, snack food manufacturing, we're in a lot of different companies that do that. Uh, it's even used to strip uh, buildups on wine barrels or or the aging process at like Dogfish Head Brewery. Uh, uh, they use barrels to age their beer, so, so uh, they even use it to clean those barrels. It's used a lot in power generation, uh, uh, in the power generation industry to strip uh, buildups on heat exchangers, on hydroelectric generators, different things like that. It's used a lot in mold remediation, fire restoration. The, the, the applications in industries are endless and we're learning new ones each day.